All right, so Shell, for this episode, I'm going to fall asleep and you have to do the commentary. Oh. You're just going to fall asleep right here and now? Yep. Then, but you're the one with the controller currently in yeah, your grasp. Okay. That won't be a problem, right? What, so do I have to tell you where to go? No. Well, you're not moving. Well, yeah. I'm falling asleep. But then what will I have to commentate over? Whatever you want. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> She's dude. not cool with this idea. I mean, otherwise I could take the controller from you. No, no. That's against the rules. I will play. This game is cute. Holy shit, that rumble. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can turn that off. I, there's just like... You've been saying holy... I don't know. Shell, my language changes by the month. I'm just imagining what a holy, you know, would be. Buddha dookie. Uh, as in, does it possess several holes from yeah, worms just, that have crawled it's just inside Swiss. it? Or, or, is it, uh, is it sacred in some manner? I like mean, it could be both. It was pushed from the posterior of some kind of high up clergyman the or Buddha. the Pope himself. The what? Buddha. What? The Buddha. No. The Buddha Buddha. Still is not picking up on this at all. No. Which is a shame, because you really should pick up that sort of thing. It's gross to just leave it sitting around. Wait, what? Die, slime. There we go. I wonder if I, if left unchecked, if those slimes would actually just kill my dudes. I, I would assume that they dissolve them. Yeah, probably. Though I don't want to wait and see. That would be morbid. And cruel to the poor little twigling or emberling. Yeah. I'm just assuming there's probably... The, the logic behind it is that none of them actually die. They just kind of... Uh, they just go back to their spirit realm and we just resummon them with the food. But I thought this was the spirit realm. No. Because remember, the uh, the woods? Mm. Mm. Well, not the woods. The, the like stumps are a portal back to their, their realm. Uh, mm-hmm. So, the seeds just allow them to take some kind of corporeal form here? Possibly. There we go. Give me all that business. I'm really surprised we haven't found Kirby yet. I guess we're still pretty much in the early part parts of this game, but I would have figured... Yeah, she I... would have gotten introduced fairly early on. Uh, I think maybe we'd have to finish one of the major zones. Ride the lift? Yeah. Oh, it's a lift. Yeah, we're going up the icy mountain. I. That lift has n no contraption assorted with it. It just goes up. <laughs> the frost fields. Oh no! A frost beetle bush. There we go. Okay. Now there was a bunch of trash over there. Oh, yeah. So there was. And there's some brambles. And yep. more trash. I uh, might as well get the trash over on the left. I'm gonna start the brambles burning mm. while while I grab the trash. Yeah, I suppose that's good as well. efficiency. Oh bottle. There's a lot of trash though. Oh. oh hello. Oh, it's the twins. Oh, these are the twins. Are they old ladies? I... Yeah, let's go with that. Because if they were old men, they'd probably have beards. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just funny. One has very large ears, and the other one just has... The very large tufty hair. hair coming out. It's not stupid. It's talent. I'm talented, and you're not. No, nah. -uh. Nobody cares about it. Everyone hates it, actually. 
and they're just too embarrassed for you to say anything. That's not true. Take it back. Uh, hi. You there. Perfect. It's stupid, right? Tell me. Tell me it's stupid. What's stupid? See, it's so stupid this tiny idiot doesn't even know what it is. Oh. Whoa, rude. Yeah, they, they are immensely rude. They're the ones just calling. Mm -hmm. They're just throwing around the word stupid and idiot constantly. Yeah, it's <laughs> not cool. Mm -mm. Whoa, rude. Oh, she's just jealous. No, I don't feel the need to waste my time on something that's like uh, so bad that... Are you talking? Shut up. So what's so stupid? Or not stupid? Why well, tell you when I could? Oh god, here we go. Show you. Behold my skills. Uh. That's some impressive beatboxing. Mm hmm. So, what do you think? Yeah, tell us. Do you think it's stupid? Pretty cool, actually. Ha! Huh. Yeah, I told you. What the hell, tiny idiot? I thought we were friends. No, you suck. <laughs> we just met, and I hate you. Wait, who are you guys? Oh, he said they were tw twins. You guys are green shields. Wait, how do you know that? Who sent you? Greycoat, my name's Wake. Greycoat sent you? Hmm. Well then, allow us to introduce ourselves. I'm Candence, and this is... Hmm. Say it. Say the name. Ah, uh, and I'm Kent Dance. Ha! Huh, she hates saying it. Well, so I wonder if they were Candace and, but then they never had another name. I don't Can't, know. Or we'll, if it's we'll just find out their real names Candace later. Or Can't Dance. I, I think these are their current temporary names because they're super befuddled. Right, because of the mm -hmm. the loss of the memories. Yeah. Well, Greycoat asked me to come tell you guys that your uh, talents are needed back in the grove. Wait, really? Yes, we can find. We finally get to leave this wretched popsicle. Hey, crap for brains! Aren't we forgetting something? Hmm. Something important? No, I still know how to dance. Not that. The thing, you know, the thing we lost. Oh, yeah. He's gonna be mad. Oh well, we'll deal with it. All right, new guy. We'll head back to the grove. Meet us there if you need us. Oh, and, uh, sorry I called you a tiny idiot. Oh, look at that tree. Ah! Wah! No! No, the poor thing! At least I have all my guys. It just hurt. Yeah, but what do we do? Well, presumably we have to find the frost one. Do they shoot projectiles or what's the benefit? I, well, maybe not. Maybe we have to find somebody heavy enough. Mm, or something else, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh! A treasure beetle! Oh no! Don't let the treasure beetle escape. I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> we got... crushed that thing. Mm -hmm. I was already pre chucking my guys with the express uh, expectation that I was going to be. Uh, let's see, another resin. With the express expectation that we were going to be uh, dealing with the trash. Mm -hmm. Now look at that. There's some glittery ore. You might be able to mine it later. Notice how it's sparkling? Yep. A lot of loot here, though. Oh no. Night's falling. Oh, that's bad. Oh, 
Uh, Tinker oh. Extraordinaire. Yeah. Tinker Extraordinaire. I don't know how to communicate laughter in a journal entry other than onomatopoeia. So just know that I laugh as I write this. <laughs> oh, sorry, no. <clears throat> he. He got his head stuck in a kettle. He dove into a pile of scrap and wedgewood head first. When he emerged, he's thrashing and swearing in consternation. Then, after a few moments of struggle, and with a muffled sigh, seemed to accept that it wasn't coming off. How does one even accomplish such a feat? The Man from the Sky. Entry number 10. Some days ago, a machine came careening into the wood from the sky, wailing and smoking. Fion let him in, she says. Wait, what? Fion let him in? She says, oh yeah, so that we could help him. He wears the garb of what I assume is perhaps military, and has suffered an injury from the crash that has removed his ability to speak, as well as seemingly broken his memory. After the initial shock of learning everything that goes on here, the secrets we keep from his world, and after we were able to convince him to unlock the door to Scrap Heap's cart, where he had holed himself up, he was beginning to take to his situation kindly. The Green Witch is teaching him an old magical rite that scribes once used to communicate with other deep woods across the world. Wait, so there are multiple deep woods? We've given him a name, and when broached, he grinned and shrugged as he folded another sheet. Paper planes it is. And we haven't found anything, so you might want to go down the elevator. Yeah. I was wondering about timing earlier when we set out, and it's like, yeah, I don't know what time of day this is going to be. Probably should have actually just, Looked should start the... almost every episode just by going to bed. Regardless. Mm -hmm. Where do we have to go from here? Um... Um, Probably straight to the right. Wait, wait, is that the grove door? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the grove door. We'll see when the bad boy pops in. Oh, can't get those. No, 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 you do not want to go to your big toad. Let's skip big toad then. Can we just get to safety? Yeah, I was going that way and you told me to go a different route. Well, I thought it, the grove is up here. Yeah, grove's over there, but we have to go past Big Toad. Oh, no! It's okay. See? Oh, yes. We're fine. We do have a camp. Thank goodness. Okay, sleep and save. Everybody's good. I do wish I didn't have to resummon my dudes every morning. Mm hmm. I think it's so that you can choose their. Um, just what their composition is. Yeah, true. Which elements. Yeah, it looks like there'll be five in the it end. It'd be kind of nice if there was a button that was just like, give me, you know, uh, equal split of everybody that I've got. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pop those every single time I go by. Because we're always going to need more fruit. There we go. That gulp was maybe a little too loud. Yeah. This is good juice. Is it a mango, mango apple orange. carrot? Or, or is it mango orange carrot? I know. We can check downstairs. Mm -hmm. I know mango is like the main draw. And anything that has mango in it is usually... Wander loves mangoes. I love mangoes. I'd love to learn how to make, like, a proper lossy. Mm hmm. You know, get a nice can of mango puree. Add some extra stuff to it, thin it down a little bit. Usually it's a yogurt. Yeah, it's usually, like, a yogurt. Maybe some other juices. I'm not entirely sure. But my my neighbor back in Massachusetts made dang good lossies. Mm. Uh oh. Yeah, that. It's like it's an evil fairy. Wait! Oh, they can't go around. No!
Are you really gonna leave them to that guy? Look at him. They're all getting pulverized. <gasps> Key one! No! Look at that! Look at that! Look at the spirit Stop. drifting into the air! No! I know. Ah! Greycoat, help! I killed them! I'm a monster! Be calm, child. They have not died. At least not the way you're thinking. Not the way you or I would perish. Their spirit has simply returned to the forest. But I saw them explode. This is the way of things in the deep woods. Perhaps you've seen the uh, sprightling pips in your explorations. They appear as seeds and grow from colorful gourds found throughout our forest. If you gather these pips and make the make for the nearest spirit well, you should be able to hatch them back into sprightling form. Spirit well? That's the glowy blue tree trunk thingy back at camp, right? Oh, blue thing indeed. You do have a way with your words, young master. Off you go now, and be well. You have done no harm to our forest friends. Just remember, find pips, return the spirit to the well, and hatch the spritelings. It still feels terrible, though. Can you save him? I, I Please think... suck. Use the vacuum. I, I don't think I can... find a way to destroy that guy. Yeah, I think Utterly. we need something else. Unfortunately, I think we're super stuck here until we find a way to actually hit them with ranged. Mm -hmm. So, we'll just leave it as such. It sucks a bit, but at least there's your answer for we are not killing them, they are not dead. That particular track did sound like Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I can't blame the guy well, too much for having a sound. Well, no, no, no. No, I'm saying I like that sound. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely the whoa, 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 whoa. like the whistling. Yeah. I don't know. I love the music. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Okay, let's get a couple more. I actually like doing that sometimes. Where if I really like a particular composer. Even if they've written soundtracks for multiple games, I I can kind of keep them all together if it, they have a similar enough sound. If you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I mean, it It makes sense. No, where are you going? Oh. oh needed a seed. That was weird. It makes sense. Like, um... Oh god, Marty O'Donnell always had kind of a specific sound to his music, and I guess we just haven't been this way. I need to charge up my old iPod so that I can play music again. I mean, your iPhone also plays music. Yeah, but it does not have all my songs. You see, for some reason, so I collected a lot of CDs back in the days. Well, back in the day. And with my iMac, I could put the CDs in and it would put things onto my iTunes. However, it I looked at when, you know, I got my new phone, which happens to be an iPhone. You know, it, it has you log in with your original Apple account. But for some reason, the only soundtracks and albums that I have are the ones that I specifically bought through the Apple store. Well, that's normal. They don't, they don't actually... Uh, Keep a library of things that you've yeah, gotten off Google of Google Play Music wor worked that way, but then they got rid of that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so... I'm probably the version of iTunes that's on my iMac is... Probably has all my music. Well, it's just that that computer has your music stored on it. Yeah. It's not that that version of iTunes is in any way, shape, or form special. Okay. But it's just sad because if I have the, you know, CDs, I'd like to be able to have a digital means of being able to keep track of them. Maybe it's a kind of anti-piracy measure or something. Yeah, 100%. Uh, specifically, I... Uh... Apple had it in a proprietary format, 
so that people specifically could not get music through iTunes and then resell it back mm. in the day when, you know, I wanted to say music well, piracy wait. was more how, common. How would people resell stuff? That doesn't make sense. Or, I mean, you'd rip the CD uh, or you just, you know, share it for download online. There's a bunch of different ways. Well, I mean, that's downright vile, but... I think I can do this. Oh, uh, yeah, you can't. You probably can't crawl over. I don't know how you'll be able to destroy those. You, the It's like the thorned pustules. That seem to be the epicenter of those tainted regions. Yeah. There we go. You know, I was really expecting with the whole building, because they mentioned you could build in this game. I was really expecting... I'd be building more stuff as opposed to just like a little bit. Well, you haven't really been mixing too. Wait. Oh, there's a tiny. I bet it's Kirby. Oh. Wake. What the? Oh, yeah. That does look like Kirby. I believe she's mm -hmm. from the cover, right? Mm hmm. Wake. Who's there? Or unless unless she's doing the whole wake. Yep, because of this. I'm a ghost. You abandoned your best friend. I I didn't. We we're supposed to meet, but I got lost. Yes, you got lost in the woods because you're a dumbass. Also, your haircut is stupid. Ooh. Ouch. Well, now Wake's dead. Oh. Wait! Wake! Wake? Wake? Can you please wake up? Wake? I'm okay, I think. Kirby! Hi! Sorry! Uh, what do I do? Maybe the Spritelings can help. Spritelings? The little guys? Okay. Don't worry, Wake. We'll get you out of there. You found Kirby. As Wake's best friend and co-conspirator in The Plan, Kirby knows everything that Wake does regarding best adventure practices, DM. Kirby is also quite small and can squeeze through very small spaces. More people means more pockets. Bag size is increased by two slots. Press Y to change characters. Okay. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna... If they ever did decide to add co-op, which is a tall order, but it would be cute if you could just divide your Spritelings and... Yeah, have mm -hmm. both players control. Yeah. We'd have to be on separate computers, though. I don't think this game would particularly... Handle it well, unless you had to stay really close. Yeah, it would be awkward. Okay, grab those. Drop everything off again. Nah, I was really hoping I could just press and hold the button. Have you gone to the fire yet to set things up? Yeah. I don't think this is a valid camping oh, location. Oh, so you don't want to stay here past nightfall then. Where's my other... Oh, there they are. I'm still missing one. Unless it's... Could be dead. Uh, it could be the one that was locked up. Ah, there he is. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't get to that one. Now, Kirby probably doesn't have anything to interact with the stuff. Oh, but... Oh, that's what all those little logs are. Mm -hmm. Kirby's bots. That doesn't seem to be one. Oh, I see. Uh... 
Can you send them over to destroy the log? Yep. Kind of a silly animation. Okay, so the red guys do not like mushrooms. Mm -mm. Nope, because those are poisonous. Only the twiglings can destroy them. Okay, what else we got? Ow. Oh, oh. no, beetle! Get him. Kill him. Get him dead. Unfortunately, she has no vacuum pack. Mm-hmm. Kind of limits what she can do. Maybe you'll be able to build another one. I don't or know. Or something else. Maybe it, Maybe they'll have... Well, I suppose she has one ability and he has another. So yeah, probably. It gives you an incentive to switch. Yeah, right, because she's got the ability to go shrinky-dink. Or just crawl through the logs. Mm. Tomato, tomato. Well, she's not shrinking in order to do so, that's for sure. She is shrinking. She's small. That's because she's currently small. She doesn't need to shrink further. So if Wake is 12, how old do you think she is? Kirby, I have to tell you so many things. Look, Kirby, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to leave you alone. I'm a total, I'm a total dingus brained, fart breath, booger face, butt person. Duh. Well, I'm here now. I forgive you, you big idiot. I was really scared that something would happen to you. Hey, wait a second. How exactly did you get here? There's, well, wow, I have a lot to tell you. What do you mean, how? I tracked you. Duh. I saw that weird tree and went through it. You did? Yeah, it was easy. Why? Oh, and there were a bunch more of these little helpful guys. Some of them are made of plants and others are made of this, uh... Well, I actually don't know what they're made of. But they really liked me. And they followed me around. Let me play a little bit and then... Kirby? What's that? Oh, it's a lantern probably for her. Mm. That's strange. I think I saw the... That at the Green Witch cat catafalque. Cat a what? Yeah, long story. Kirby, wait. Huh? I I think it likes me. Uh, yeah. Whoa! Check it out. Uh, is that thing safe? What do you think it does? I don't know. But it sure feels safe to me. We should try it out. Huh. Okay, if you say so. Let's see what it can do. Itchy back. <laughs> I'm just itchy today. Went from being really cold to really hot. This always leaves me in a bit of a messy state. Wow, I still can't believe you found me. I have so much to tell you. Oh no, something watching them. Oh, <gasps> no, it's, it's a someone. That guy looks like he's a witch hunter, straight out of yeah. He looks like not Van Helsing, great. but he also has the teal eyes. You got the warden's way. This mysterious beacon seems to attract corporeal bodies with its otherworldly glow. Additionally, corruption growths and old warden statues seem to respond to its pull. Use high beam to draw in more substantial forms like resources and spritelings. And declare sturdier magical obstacles. So this is how we get rid of the teal stuff. Yep. Okay. But we need... We need Wake to actually physically mm -hmm. suck. We need Wake for the big suck. So what about if she goes near the stones? Do they... Unless that's not necessarily a statue. Oh, wait. There were some trees that were glowing blue, but they also seem to require spritelings, too. Oh. What's up? Nah, it doesn't look like that does anything. Nightfall seems to be approaching. But yeah, you can use him to... Yeah, we can go a little bit further. We're right next to a campsite anyway. But it isn't, it isn't a campsite that has an enclosure of lights. Uh, it's got a campfire. But 
it doesn't have shelter or light. Well, the main thing is we're stuck down here. Like, we can't get back. Ah. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. think they bother me if I'm next to a campfire. Like, I'm not even sure if they bother me if I'm next to a lantern. Possible. Suffice to say, uh, yeah, see camp. Mm -hmm. But hey, look, there's some tubes. Yeah. But which one do you choose? Probably none of them. I think I'm gonna swing back to that campsite and see if I can find a sleepy. Mm -hmm. My general assumption is I'm out of luck. Because I can save here. Oh no. I, I don't think it bothers me as long as I'm in that light radius. But there is no radius. No, like the light radius of the fire? I don't know. But the fire doesn't really have the radius that it used to. Either that or the the dudes straight up just do not spawn here. That or she has to use her lantern on them. Maybe. Oh, oh, yeah, use the corruption. Gross. Well, if Boyo McMurderton shows up, we just peace and hang out next to that campfire. Or we just run circles around him for the entirety of the nighttime. Oh, what am I doing? Looks locked. Oh, there we go. Ooh, there's honeycomb. Oh, didn't read it. Uh... I mean, you'll find it in your inventory. Yeah. I like how the rocks glow at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they have the moon symbols, too. Yeah, I I almost wonder if this area is well lit enough that it won't, bo it won't bother me. See how these have, like, light radia? Yeah. Light radii? Those ones do. I think they're done getting whatever is over there. Well. I think what I want to do is this. Okay. Go here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any big murder pants, so I think they just planned on making this area... Safe. Yeah, safe. I have lily pads. Here to bridge. Kill slime before he dissolves, friend. And then it looks like she has to go back and then yep. across the water as well. Okay. Little big leaf. All of these guys, or give me, we recruit all of these guys. Dang, there's a lot. All right, we're good to go. I am. I don't see any potential darkness, dude. So, I think we're just safe here. And they just made it as such because it would be inconvenient to have it be any other way. Mhm. Mm just in case you couldn't get out in time. Yeah. Either that, or we're just weirdly lucky. I don't know. There we go. But yeah, this... I don't know. This area feels like it was mostly just kind of his uh, tutorial for... Hey, this is how Kirby works. Mm -hmm. And how you can switch between them and work together. Mm -hmm. Of course, puts me in a bit of a risky position when I get out of here. Mm -hmm. As the... Uh, the darkness critters are going to immediately be like, hello, and I'll be like, ah, shoot. But it's fine. Mad dash for freedom. Mad dash for safety.
Okay, I wonder where... Yeah, there's all the corruption there. But where is the nearest uh, that's, spot? That's close. As long as it doesn't pop up in front of me, we're good. Yep. Mushrooms. So are you going to the tree, or are you going somewhere else? Oh. I'm going the wrong way. That's where I'm going. Oh no! We killed one of the Emberlings! There we go. We can resummon them. I mean, it's it's sad, but it's also like, mm -hmm. but they say oh, it they're... costs like nothing. Oh, is this the place? Yep, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're back. Hold your applause. I'll try my best. Yeah. Oh no, it's that. Yeah, I guess can't dance always says the same thing. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Who's this? Hey, gray coat. Long story, but uh, say hello to my friend Kirby. Nice to meet you. Curious. Uh, uh, um, hello, Kirby. Welcome to the Grove. Wake, I trust you remember your task. Right, to gather all the missing green shields. I'm on it. Er, we're on it. Yeah. Well, that was easy. Really? No further introductions? No. Uh, I thought that he would get excited about the relic that she has on her back or something. Oh, I'm buying pips. That's I didn't need to do that. Oh, no. Fine. Okay, hatch pips. There. Back into solid 30. I think everything else is good. Alright. Uh, do you want to try crafting? Now that you have honey? Oh uh, yeah, that's a good point. And right. you also have those bags Honey. Of Harvested from the hive of a bumbee. The honeycomb's sweet and sticky properties make it a rare tasty treat. Piece of bit and a bottle. Oh! Smelly tonic. Tracks nearby creatures. A beastie fruit with the heart. Sturdy tonic. Extra strength to spritelings in the splash zone, giving them invulnerability for a time. That's just recycled junk. Makeshift flare. Or recycled uh, okay. junk. Okay. So I don't know if the bags can do anything special. I don't know. Making a new meal. Ooh, look at that little egg. Stronger kicks. And recover some time. Or some health. Already new me meal. Boom. Okay, okay, so it gives protection. extra temp hearts. Recall tonic. Instantly summon all spritelings to the splash site. Oh, that's useful. Okay. So it looks like some of the mixtures create yeah, I think various we're meals. Tapped out. But that's okay. Alright, we are well supplied, everything is good. And I will say this is a really good stopping point. Holy crap, that episode just flew by. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess with that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.